Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and as you can see right now, it's a surprise that we have a OnePlus 6 on our channel right now and as you can see, the conditions are not that great, so sorry for that, but this was a video which was supposed to be done, it should have been done and OnePlus yet again, they have surprised me like always. They have released the stable version of Oxygen OS for this particular device and that is running Android 9 Pie. So, as always, first up, let's go to About Phone and let's go to Build Number. So it says you are already a developer and Android version is 9. So as you can see here, this is the Easter egg now. A solid colored Easter egg is something that I'm seeing for the first time. Now, of course, this is a build that is supposed to be based on the PR1 release. That is a public release one for Android Pie. It works awesome, I should say that because now, to tell you the truth with this particular device what i did today was i was trying to unbreak it because i was on beta 3 and then i tried to move to stable and i immediately got this update i also got a notification from android authority that the stable update is rolling out now the whole idea behind this particular video is two things as always smartphone tutorials is known for installs and previews so if you've not got this particular update and you're running an international version of oneplus 6 there is a link mentioned in the description box just go ahead and download that file and first i'll quickly show you how to install it you just need to go to settings you need to go to system and you need to go to system updates now once you've copied that particular file to your phone's internal memory you just need to press this gear icon and select local upgrade and something like this will appear and you could just update from there now that is everything about how to go ahead and update it what we're going to do next is we're going to quickly have a look at this particular update now this is going to be a relatively short video let's quickly see what has changed or if there is anything at all that has changed in this particular update now as you know, on this channel, we did have a look at Hydrogen OS Beta 1, Hydrogen OS Beta 2. Matter of fact, I was using it as my daily driver. And at that time, that's about a month and a half back, I did find it to be very, very stable. But for now, what I can say is if I look at the feel of this particular user interface, it is extremely smooth. I'm yet to come across any bugs in the last two hours now. To tell you the truth, this is not my device. My OnePlus 6 is out for service because it has a broken display and I'm not going to have it anymore because I'm moving to the 60 soon. So yes, I'm using the Zenfone Pro M1. But talking about this particular update, uh, well, let's go to display. Some, you know, additional additions. If you've never seen a beta video from me, well, I would say if you can go to accent color, you have an option to choose a custom color of your choice and it changes in real time. Of course, the gestures are there. Gaming mode 3.0 is there and if you go to theme and you set it to colorful there you go so if you go back you would notice that the icons over here are colorful so basically they are following the android pie design guideline now i am thinking of making a full review on this but from the first impressions and from the last couple of hours that i've been using it i've not noticed any major major changes when it comes to the user interface but one notable change that OnePlus have made to this particular update is if you go to about and if you have a look at the Oxygen OS version, surprise, surprise, it is version 9.0 now. So when my friend told me today that, you know, I've got an update to Oxygen OS 9.0, I think he was, you know, I thought he was confusing it with Android version 9. But OnePlus have released an official statement stating that they are going to now name their Oxygen OS versions based on the Android version. So that will make everyone's life more easy and things will be less confusing. Now, apart from this, what do you get with Android Pie? So let's quickly have an overview. And you know, the whole idea of this video was to tell you that there are no bugs. And when they say this is a stable update, there is no, you know, pullback or they have not pulled the update back or anything like that. You will get it in stages. But for now, if you have a look at the notification drawer or the notification icons and stuff, they are rounded just like Android Pie. Of course, to the left, you have the dashboard, which is following a more unified theme now. If you have a look at the volume slider, it appears now just next to the 
volume rocker so that is another neat addition and if you go to settings of course you have the colorful icons and stuff and you have something called as utilities which has all the oneplus goodies like gaming mode quick pay parallel apps so everything related to oneplus including oneplus switch is here and artificial intelligence battery is here artificial intelligence brightness is here and something that i've noticed also on the zenfone pro m1 that ai battery and ai brightness works in a much much different way so you know this was a quick way to show you how to go ahead and install and have a first look at this particular update the main reason i wanted to get this video out was i wanted to let you guys know that this particular update is out and if you've not got it well you can just go to system and download that file and you can update it apart from that the camera is the same as beta 3 the smoothness is the same yes i would say the ui responsiveness is much much better and feels much more fluid so definitely if you've got this ota don't hesitate just go ahead and install this particular update it is definitely worth a try let me know in the comment section if you would like to know a full review or if you'd like to see a full review because if i were to do a full review of oneplus six oxygen pi stable update this would be definitely a last video of this particular device on this channel because in the next 15 or 20 days you will see me making videos on vlogs and stuff like launch events and other things about the oneplus 6t yes that device does have three cameras in display fingerprint scanner the earphone jack or the headphone jack is missing it has a bigger battery so one the, the oneplus 6t is definitely going to be a device that you'll see on this particular channel but to all the oneplus 6 lovers if there's anything that you guys are missing that you want to see on smartphone tutorials let me know in the comment section this was a quick install and first look at official stable android pi for the oneplus 6 until the next one stay tuned keep smiling and if you've not already please subscribe i will see you soon take care goodbye Oh,